me, 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 me. All right, hey, hello. So, first things first, I'm so, so sorry that this is going up really late. I promise you that this and NCP will be uh, regularly uploaded on Saturday and Sunday accordingly uh, after this week one. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you will know that it's just it's been a really rough week. Also, I've been having PC troubles. Uh, I apologize, my PC is really old. It's like seven years old. Uh, I've updated some parts, but I think there's some like wires or something getting loose, so I have to figure something out because either my HDMI is not working or my internet's not connecting. It's just it's been a really rough, rough past few days, honestly. So yeah, quick team builder. I'll do these more properly. We turn onwards again. I'm just really, really sorry. I hope y'all understand. And I'm so behind on stuff. I already have to upload and just oh, <sighs> just gonna relax. All right. So here we are, week one of APA against my very, very good friend, Mr. Shuckle King 87. First time we've ever battled, so very, very hype. First week here, definitely check him out. He's an amazing battler, probably one of the best Wi Fi draft league players out there. And he also does dabble in showdown leagues, although he doesn't upload those, but definitely Wi Fi content wise, check him out. Um, yeah, so quick team preview here. Uh, I would go over some of my sets, but there might be some things I'll be bringing. Uh, biggest threats going into this game uh, Tauros offensively is terrifying. Uh, Tornadus also offensively is a big, big issue. Like those two alone, uh, absolutely terrify me. I think he's basically forced to bring Blissey and Klefki. Klefki is really his only answer for something like, um, <clears throat> Ninjas, not Ninjas. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, for Verzion, sorry. Yeah, Verzion actually does kind of body him if I wanted to bring it. Um, which is actually kind of funny because he has Verzion. So if I were to beat him with a Verzion, that'd be hilarious. But yeah, Klefki is just really good. It can spike, it can screens um defog and thunder wave i suppose uh runa Rigus could potentially come it's literally his only switch into circuitry so i think that's basically forced to come and then as for his last mount i don't really think he brings the palpatode the rotom or the galabro all of three of those don't really have the best matchup so it's either down to galay charpedo or altaria i figure it might be altaria just because otherwise he has no switch into alola marowak which absolutely bodies him which i'm very very clearly going to bring um Actually, uh, I'm bringing my top six except Verizion. I'm bringing Alolan Whack over Verizion. So uh, we can touch on the sets here real quickly. Uh, Calm Mind, Volt Switch, Zerkitry. Uh, this is actually able to do so much ridiculous damage <laughs> to his team. Once Runa Rigas is gone, I just click Volt Switch and Thunderbolt for free. The bulk allows me to uh, hopefully always live a hit from Tauros or Tornadus if it comes down to it. Alola Marowak just kind of smacks his entire draft. Uh, sub three attack. Sub seems kind of nice in case he doesn't have something like Shadow Ball on the blissey because otherwise my three moves just kind of murder him and behind a sub he basically has to choose things to just sack so yeah alolan white can definitely put in a lot of work here uh taunt defog stone edge earthquake aerodactyl i had a really hard four moose slot syndrome with this but i figured you know what uh for this being our first game and not being our actual playoff game which i'm pretty sure that we can face each other again in playoffs then um this set can work out pretty well especially because we're gonna have wish support from our aromatis which uh, we are bringing of course wish protect moonblast and aroma therapy we have trick stealth rock mesprit my hope is to trick the blissey or trick the klefki if i can get if i can cripple one of those two then things should be a little bit easier and then we have citrus berry steelix here with toxic body press stone edge and earthquake citrus berry is actually really nice because it allows me to pivot into tauros a little bit easier so it should always proc my berry and put me out of range of where another hit should knock me out and then from there i can force him out potentially uh go for a toxic or maybe just go for an offensive move or knock him out so yeah that is our squad uh let's get into the battle all right here we are for week one of apa lower tier where we are facing one of my very very good friends shuckle king 87 you guys should definitely know who he is if you've been on the channel his channel and stuff will be down below definitely check him out very very competitive battler and a great draft league player as well this is the first time we're playing mentioned all of this and yeah um or not nah, uh i don't know yeah, okay, so we're going to click A here, and we're going to see how it goes. So, yeah, this is the first time me and Shekel have ever actually played. We've known each other for years. Never, ever have we played in a draft league battle. So, um, yeah, this could go either really good or really bad. So, <laughs> we'll see how it uh, goes from here. All right, here we go. Let's see what he brought. All right. Oh, he brought the Sharpedo. I was really scared he would bring Sharpedo. Uh, that could be a little bit of a nuisance. Runa Regis, I expected. Tauros, of course. Makes sense. Clef key. Uh, what did he not bring that I 
expected. I expected the two normals and the flying type. Just because those are very, very scary. I thought he might bring Altaria. No, Altaria is not the worst thing ever. He has Sharpedo over Altaria. Uh, Sharp could actually be a little bit of an issue. Looking at leads, I kind of just want to leave my Mesprit. Uh, we are Trick Scarf to hopefully cripple something immediately. My concern is that he could lead... Runa Regis or the Tornadus maybe, but que pasa YouTube, AK, what's up YouTube? Make sure to do something to the YouTube algorithm. Sorry, I'm trying to think here. Uh, let's destroy that YouTube algorithm, answer the comment question of the day, and let's hit that like goal of 25 likes for our first week one here. I think 25 is pretty easy. We can definitely get that out of the way for week one here. All the hype, all the excitement, all the nerves. Oh, all right. I am all over the place. Hopefully we don't get tossed. I will be happy as long as we get a W here. If not, then it's not the worst case ever because there's a good chance that Chuckle here will be making playoffs if um, if we do lose here week one. So we didn't want to bring our best prep immediately. As he ends up leading off Sharpedo, this is absolutely horrible. This is like worst case scenario. I did not think he would lead with this. Uh, I'm going to go straight into my best answer to this, which is Aromatisse, and then see what he wants to do. Uh, let's see what he wants to go for. He might just go straight for the flip turn is what I'm thinking. No, he goes for Protect. Okay. So he has Speed Boost. We know he's got Protect. He's probably Orbed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I can honestly just Moonblast here, I think. Uh, Hydro Pump could to a KO, but we absolutely obliterate him. I really feel like he just hard switches in the Clef Key. I want to pull a double. I could also go for Wish to be safe. I really don't think he Hydro Pumps here. I'm going to Wish. I think he brings in Clef Key. Like, I don't lose anything in just going for Wish, I think. Yeah, flip turn, that's fine. Dad did a lot. Good God. That did what, 68? Oh, whoa, is this Jolly? Hold on. Yeah, this could be Jolly. Uh, yeah, so he could be Jolly. We know he's Life Orb now. Mesprit's not the worst switch in here because we can go for a trick and cripple this Clef Key. I would rather trick the Blissey if possible. Uh, if I bring in Steelix, I'd probably force in the Runarigus. He could just spike here. Uh, I could make a hard switch into a Lolan Whack. Which I do kind of like actually bringing in a Lolan Marowak here. And then Flare Blitz literally just murders something. Uh, I'm going to try and bring in Alolan Whack here. So let's see what he wants to go for. Uh, foul play only does about 50% to us, so we should be fine if he goes for it here. As he does get up a spike, that's fine. Even if he foul plays here, I'm going to Flare Blitz and just smack something, I think. I could try and sub, but it's not worth it if he is faster than me, which he could be running speed on this. So he's got a spike up. I'm going to Flare Blitz. He's going to switch out probably into Blissey. Sharpedo maybe into the Rune. What is this? Rune Arigus. This is going to get absolutely molly for sure. Oh my god, that did so much. That did a lot. Oh, I took the recoil? I did not know that's how it worked. Uh, is that a problem? Please don't be Culver. Okay, good. Okay, so down goes Runarigus. That's huge. He does have a spike up, which is actually kind of bad. So we are up. 6-5. Um, my concern is that he brings in Sharpedo here. He can't just go straight for the flip turn to knock me out or force me into my... Into my Aromatis, which is a little bad. I'm going to have to try and wish up, hopefully, on the Blissey. 
I still kind of want to keep a Lolan whack here. I don't think bringing in a Romatisse is the worst thing ever. I'm gonna switch right into it. Uh, there's not really anything else can, I can do. I still would rather keep Marowak to get a KO, hopefully around the Klefki or on the Blissey, if anything. As he does flip turn, that's fine. He's gonna do a good chunk of damage here. Ooh, that might have did a little bit more than I was expecting. Yeah, we're running a lot of defense on this too, man. That shit's doing damage. So it's hitting at about 80% now. That one spike is going to be a really, really big issue. But it's fine. We might lose a Romatisse here. Depends. <laughs> no, Tauros. I love Tauros. Fuck you, Shuckle. I would flip you off, but I you got to keep it PG. I'm going to protect. Gain back a little bit of lefties. See if that helps. I could hard into Nido. Not Nido King. I don't have a Nido King. This is not P4G. I could hard into Steelix, maybe. Uh, after the spike, I might get to a KO by something. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna protect though. See if he feels confident in going for a prediction immediately. As he close combats, that's not the worst thing ever for Steelix since we are pretty fat. So up to 83. Huh. I do want to make the safe switch into Tauros. I mean into Steelix here. Close combat after Spike does not do a KO because we do have a Burst Berry. So I'm going to make the safe switch into Steelix. That's fine. With the Spike and close combat damage, we'll get into Citrus Berry range. And then we should be okay. Okay, so he actually does body slam here. Okay, that's fine. Don't you parry me, even though he can't. So that did good damage. Definitely life orbed, obviously. Uh, I think I can just body press here pretty safely. He actually doesn't really have a good switch into this now that the Runarikus is gone. I'm hoping he close combats. If he close combats, this is going to drop to body press. And we're definitely going to eat a close combat for sure. Okay, so he goes for Earthquake. That's fine. He's going to proc our berry. Uh, I don't think... This could be in range of body press, depending on rolls. And we're out of range of any hit he wants to go for now. Yes! Down goes Tauros. Awesome. That was one giant offensive threat. Unfortunately, though, he still has Sharpedo. Sharpedo can literally 6-0 me still. Actually, yeah, Sharpedo's a giant, giant problem. Crud, dude, that Sharpedo's gonna win. So, it looks like we might be in a good spot here, but not necessarily just because of how scary that Sharpedo really is. That thing's a problem. At least getting rid of Tauros is good. Runarigus is gone. Clefki's still annoying. Blissey's also a little bit of a problem. He could bring in Tornadus here. I don't. I no longer have a good switch into Tornadus outside of my arrow. I'm surprised he had Earthquake and Close Combat. I thought he would have one or the other. Honestly. So. I don't know if Steelix can actually live a hit from Sharpedo. Let me check that real quick. Can we live a hit? Uh, we could if spikes weren't up. Huh, can I afford to lose this? Maybe? I don't think I really need... A Lolan Whack anymore. Uh, I think I stay in here in Stone Edge. No, because Hidden Blissey would be really good. I mean, I have... Uh, I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna stand. Ah, this feels kind of risky. Aerodactyl was kind of free. Dodge. Ah, I should have brought an arrow. I knew it. Ah, that was a throw. That was a throw. I should have brought an Aerodactyl there. 
arrow would have been the safest switch possible. So we can bring an arrow now, and I think I'm just going to go for defog. I really don't want the spike up. I'm going to defog. He could switch right into Clef Key. I really don't want the spike up because all that extra damage is getting really annoying on my team. I don't know what move he would have on Clef Key to hit my Aromatease, probably Flash Cannon. Uh, actually, Flash Cannon would have knocked me out, depending on his set. Okay, he goes into Blissey. Okay, I'll take this. So we can defog away this. I think I definitely taunt here. I definitely go for taunt because I don't want this going for like toxics. I don't want this to spread status. I don't want it to just go for a teleport either. So let's go for taunt. Let's try stopping it as it goes for toxic. Okay, that's good. So I can't stone edge here. It does a good little bit of damage. It does like 40%. That's definitely something I think I can risk here. Or I could Earthquake expecting Clef Key. Is Earthquake worth it? No, Stone Edge, Stone Edge is, is, is fine. Ah, I could have Earthquake, dude. How do I eat? How do you eat the Stone Edge? And we missed, no! Okay, that's fine, we can bring in Aromatisse here. Ah, dude, that sucks. That miss really, really sucks. I mean, it doesn't matter. I should have Earthquake. Earthquake 100% was the play there. I would have done so much good damage. I oh, mm, should have gone with my gut there. If I had gone with my gut there, we would be in such a good position right now. In such a good position right now. This is bad. Um, I'm still really, really scared of the Sharpedo in the back. I'm hoping he might just try and spike here or Magnet Rise. So he's going to try and pull a double here, that's fine. Into the Tornadus, which is very, very scary, obviously. This is fine, though, because I can protect here. Gain back a little bit of HP, see what he wants to do. Uh, if he's Nasty Plot Tailwind, I think I just click X and cry myself to sleep tonight. So let's see what he wants to go for. As we do go for the Protect, we got to get these back, man. We got to get this, this health back. Oh, crud, he has Nasty Plot, okay. Mmm, I cannot afford to lose this. I think I sack a Lolan Whack here. I really need a Romatisse in this match. Uh, do I make the risk into arrow though? Hard switching the in the arrow would be really, really risky here. God, that does so much damage. Ugh, I think I sacked Marowak. Yeah, so he got me there. That was a good play on his end. Hurricane dodge? Oh, that would have been great if, if he dodged. Alright, so in no world... Does he actually one-shot my circuitry? So I can bring in circuitry here and go straight for the Volt Switch. We're going to go straight for Volt Switch. We should live one hit here. Guaranteed. Yeah, like the max he can do is 99%. So he's going to switch. Alexa is the Blissey. That's fine. Oh, the fact that we lost a Lolan Whack is actually really, really bad. I could have brought in a Lolan Whack here and just gone straight for some damage, bro. All right, I'm gonna try and catch him with the trick here. I'm gonna try and catch him with the trick here and hope he'll get up rocks. That is the plan. Go straight for trick, cripple this, and then get up rocks. 
So let's see what he wants to go for. Uh, what else could I have sacked off? Could I sack something else off instead of Alolan Whack? Because I could have brought it in here and just got a KO. Uh, if I had Earthquake with Arrow, that would have been so good, dude. That was a misplay on my end. Uh, I really should have Earthquake there. I really wish I had gone for Earthquake. It's fine, though. We're still in this. We're still in this. He's going to switch. Probably in the Clef Key is what I'm thinking. Yes! Actually, okay, that's fine. I'll take I'll take crippling this. So we can cripple this with the Scarf now. As we gain its lefties, the question is, what does it want to go for? I could try to bring in circuitry here. My only concern is, it, what's it going to go for? He probably has heavy duty boots on Blissey anyway, so a rock's really even worth it is the question. I could shadow ball this for some damage just to try and weaken it. Uh, it does about 16%. See if he wants... He might just spike, honestly, is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to Shadow Ball first. Yeah, so he's going to spike here. As we can Shadow Ball for a little damage. Oh, and we get the Spadef drop. Okay, so that's good. That's definitely going to help us out here. I'm going to Shadow Ball again. Oh, actually, no, I should have switched. Oh, I should have switched into Aromatease, crud. Uh, that's not the worst thing ever, okay. This is definitely Boots. Hmm. Trying to figure if the chip damage is really worth it or not. He's definitely going to Toxic here. Mm, is Toxic the worst thing ever on my Yuxi? Not really. I could also just Aromatease. Aromatease doesn't care about the Toxic. I'm on Aromatease and, my, and I think I'm going to try and go for Wish. See what it goes for. Toxic. As he lands a Toxic, that's fine. So he's Toxic. He's got to have Teleport is what I'm thinking. Alright, so we're still in this. We're still in this. Having Alola Marowak around would have been really, really good here in this instance. So this is not the worst thing ever. He can definitely go for Teleport here, which is a little bit annoying. I'm going to Wish... As he goes for Seismic Toss, that's fine. We should live the Toxic. And we can gain back some HP here. So he does have Seismic Toss, which is what I was a little scared of. I thought he would have Thunder Wave instead of Toxic, though. So we have to protect here, unfortunately. Which is fine. Alright, this is Leo from the future. Uh, this is going to be extremely rapidly sped up. Uh, this was literally just 14, 15 minutes of us just kind of going back and forth. Because what I was trying to do was get an arrow on a turn that he either didn't go for Toxic or that he missed a Toxic. Spoiler, he hits literally every single Toxic in this game. Uh, which ra which was rather unfortunate because if he had just missed one or if I'd been able to come in on a seismic toss after the wish and not have to have worried about the toxic, then I definitely think it would have been a lot easier to break through this blissey. But yeah, uh, I'm sorry if this might be skipping or lagging a little bit, but I really didn't think you guys would want to sit here for 40, 14 minutes, sorry, and uh, just kind of see the same thing going back and forth, back and forth, me trying to hopefully get an arrow on a good turn. Uh, I was also debating on whether or not I can maybe stall him out of toxics but then i realized that my timer is starting to get really low and that's a little bit rough for me honestly i shouldn't have sacked off alolan marowak i immediately regretted that after i did that i probably should have sacked off 
something else because having a little Marowak here in this scenario actually would have been very very helpful unfortunately though that is not the case and again just trying to figure out some way I can bring an arrow because if I can bring it in without it being toxic then that makes dealing with this Blissey a little bit easier I can probably force it out and maybe get some damage on whatever comes in or try and severely weaken the Blissey so I can deal with it a little bit later so yeah we both switch here and this should be coming to an end and we'll get back into the live uh, battle itself Try and wish here, maybe. As he does seismic toss, okay. If I sack Mesprit to this Blissey to then get an arrow for free, that would be nice. I'm gonna try and bring an arrow here. Again, dude, he's hit every single Toxic, bro. Just one miss. If he misses a Toxic here, we're straight. We're golden. We're in such a good spot. He just has to miss. That's all. He's hit every single one. Dude. How? How? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's annoying, yeah. But I can't be upset about it. It is part of the game. And it is 90 accuracy. So he definitely loses nothing in just seismic tossing here. I can try and stone edge for a crit. It's my best bet right now. We only have a minute left, unfortunately. This has been going on back and forth quite a bit. Oh! I was not expecting that. And now we lose. Yeah, okay, we lost. I was not expecting counter. That's really bad. That's actually horrible. Ah, okay, yeah, we lose. Oh. And my gut was telling me to switch into... My gut was telling me to switch into, what's it called? Aromatease. But I was like, we got a minute left, we gotta make something happen. So yeah, unfortunately, I think we're going to drop here. Blissey, uh, to be fair, it was my fault. I should have sacked something else off. It's okay, though. I think we started off really good. If I had been able to get rid of Klefki a little bit earlier in the match, that would have been really nice, actually. Okay, we have a chance again. We have a chance again for him to miss a Toxic. If he can miss that Toxic, if he misses this Toxic, we'll be fine. Like, we're good. We're dandy, baby. We're dandy if he misses this Toxic. Come on. Is that too much to rely on? I'm guessing it is too much to rely on because he just keeps hitting all the Toxics. I need to just Thunderbolt here immediately then. Ah, dude, that sucks. Again, like, literally just one Toxic Miss, dude. One Toxic Miss means I could have gone for Taunt on this Blissey. And then that means that I could then go for... For a potential Earthquake on the potential Switch Out. So, if we can... If we can knock him out here with this next Thunderbolt, that'd be great. Come on, let's get some justice, baby. Come on. Come on, Zerka Tree. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. We're at plus two. Come on, dude. This is... Please... Please, please, circuitry, please. Please. We got this, we got this. That's like a 50-50 roll, man. That's so close. That's so close of a roll. Please, please, circuitry. This is where I kind of wish I had more special attack investment now, but I didn't. I went like 164, modest. Come on. Oh, so he's going to switch. That's a good plan, is in. Sacking off the cleft key, that's fine. He sacks off the keys, the keys. So if anything, it's only a 3-0. It's not the worst thing ever. Yeah, because he can still win this. Like, Sharpedo is annoying, and then he still has the Tornadus. And, I mean, he wins with Timer alone. I don't know, I think, I really feel like if he had just missed a Toxic, like things, that would have given us, given us a little bit of leeway to do something else, potentially.
So he goes for the flip turn, knocks us out. Yeah, so we're going to lose 3-0, unfortunately. Again, dude... He... Yeah, and then the hacks that we got, like, literally didn't even matter. Those special attack drops <laughs> were not important at all. So there's no point in dragging this out at this point. Yeah, I mean, his best play is to just soft bolt anyways. Dude, I, I need to count all those toxics. That, that had to be like 7, 8, 10 at least. That he hit all of them. <laughs> this hacks. <st> <laughs> I keep getting backs on Blissey, which doesn't even matter. <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> like the only hacks I've got is on this Blissey. But it's the hacks that I don't need. Like the special attack drops did, don't matter at all. That crit doesn't matter at all. Did I get a special attack drop? No. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, at this point, there's no real reason to even. If I had been able to trick the Blissey instead, that would have been a little bit better. But he made a good play by bringing in the Clef Key and letting that get tricked instead. Also, it was my fault for sacking off the Steelix and the Marowak. I knew I should have made the aggressive switch earlier into Arrow. And then if I had been able to Earthquake the Clef Key instead of... Going for Stone Edge, that might have also been better as well. Would it have? Yeah, because I would have done really good damage to Klefki, and then that wouldn't have been a bit of, as big of an issue, and then I would have felt comfortable staying in and going for another Earthquake. And then that would have put me in a really good position. It's alright, though. It's only week one. Again, there is... I, I don't need this off the Blissey! <laughs> I don't need this off the Blissey. <laughs> oh my lord, that's funny. It's just funny that the little hacks I get doesn't matter, but I don't. I, again, again, I keep going back to it, but that toxic man, just one toxic miss, just one miss, and I think we would have been good. I think we would have been in a good spot there, because I could have taunted, catch the incoming clef key. I could have felt comfortable in staying in and going for earthquake to knock it out, potentially just be aggressive, because I don't think he would have knocked me out with one hit, and then clef key being gone means that that's one less issue to deal with, and then we can taunt Blissey later. Um, in all honesty, though, I shouldn't have gone and sacked off Alolan Whack. I could have probably afforded to sack something else off. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. Week 1, unfortunately, we do end up losing. We got off to a really good start. I made a misplay by... Well, I made a few misplays, I guess, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. But it's not that big of a deal. It's only week 1. We will face... Shuckle King, most likely in playoffs, and then from there we can definitely uh, do better, more than likely, because this was not the best team I could have brought. And I know Shuckle, he definitely didn't bring his best team either, so that was a good game regardless. Good week one. I'll probably speed up that little portion in the middle, and then that way you guys don't have to sit throughout the entire thing. But yeah, good game to my boy Shuckle. Check him out and check out the rest of this season's roster in the description and down below. Make sure to destroy that YouTube algorithm, answer the comment question of the day. 25 likes is the goal for week number one, which I know we can easily smack. So yeah, check out everybody else and see y'all next week. So later, everybody.